What's going on guys? So as many of you know, I constantly talk about how as a medical student and even as a pre-med and undergrad, you should always be trying to improve on your study techniques and that what works for some people isn't always going to work for others. So trial and error is really, really important when it comes to uh, figuring out how to study, especially when it comes to different topics. There might be different techniques that work best for anatomy that don't work for biochemistry. Um, and so you always want to be constantly improving and willing to change up your studying habits. A lot of students get stuck into the old routine of just reading a textbook, highlighting, and then writing out a ton of notes, and then thinking that they're going to be able to absorb all that material. And for the most part, that's really ineffective and ends up wasting a lot of valuable time. So even myself, uh, trying out lots of different techniques, I know that I'm by no means perfect and I am starting out a new one that I'm pretty excited about that I think is going to work well. We'll see how it goes. So what I'm going to be doing is um, kind of similar to the see one, do one, teach one method, which as you uh, go through your medical training, you'll learn is um, been a foundational uh, part of learning medicine for a while now. I think uh, the technique was started at Johns Hopkins a while back. But basically what you want to do is see the information, then do the information. So essentially watching videos, um, really like actually just learning about it, like listening to the lectures, etc., and then try to teach that information. And when you're studying all the time, a lot of it's by yourself in medical school. Um, there's not always the availability of having groups to study 24-7 even though group studying is good. So I've been trying to figure out a way to um, improve my ability and um, accessibility to teaching. So what I've been doing is I'm starting to make voice memos. So it's an app you should have, be able to get it uh, downloaded right on your iPhone if you don't already have it. And I just put in this microphone that you probably see right here and I start, I'm starting to speak out everything that I am learning. So the system that I have right now, which we're going to see if it works or not, I'll keep you updated with a uh, later video, is I am watching a Boards and Beyond video that's associated with a specific page of first aid. And then I will go and read that page in first aid after I watch the Boards and Beyond video. And the reason I do that is because Boards and Beyond gives a lot of really good context to the um, to the material. First aid is really just like the flash facts and like the most important information. But if you don't, if you haven't learned it yet, it's very hard to understand what first aid is talking about. So you really can't just like read first aid like a book. So I watch the video, get the context, then I read the first page, aid page out, and then I will actually try and, I'll take a little break so it's not like right fresh in my head, and then I will speak out, usually between a three to five minute note, that specific section on the first aid page that I've just gone over. And I, it's starting to uh, seem to produce good results. It's improving my memory for the topics that I'm just starting, which is reproductive, uh, repro system, we are currently working on, uh, well actually my class didn't start yet so I'm trying to get ahead right now. That's another thing, I'm going to see how this works in terms of doing this all hopefully before my class starts and then using anything we learn in class to fill in extra details, a lot of lectures in medical school as you'll see, kind of go into excess details that aren't really boards heavy but are still um, great to know and usually taught by the clinician so there are things you're going to be using on the wards. So uh, that's this new style that I'm using. I will keep you updated on how it works but so far it seems to be going well and I'm pretty excited about it. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you like this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. There's going to be a lot more videos like these coming your way soon and drop a comment below for certain questions you have that you'd like me to make a video about.